Hello everybody again and welcome to the Never Empty Bottle Cocktail Blog. I am Tyler of course. Today we're doing another uh, Halloween cocktail for you guys. So if you saw last week's video, it was the Drunken Peanut Butter Cup, which I thought was amazing. I think some people liked it, scared some people. Halloween, screw it, it can do whatever it wants. Um, so super excited to keep on the Halloween cocktail train. We got a couple more of these. So let's go ahead. This one today is called the Good and Evil. And when you think about it, I kind of actually had to like you know, good and evil, Halloween, if you, like, all costumes are either good or bad things. Like, ghosts, bad. Princesses, good. Frankenstein, bad. Cupcakes, good. Do people dress like cupcakes? I don't know, but, you know. I think, like, yeah, like a platypus would be, like, the most, like, neutral thing, maybe. Like a Platypus, the duck things, the duck otters, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go ahead and I'll, quit, I'll shut up and let's make this cocktail. So, good and evil cocktail, we're gonna go ahead and put some ice into our shaker. All right, so everything is a one ounce ratio, it makes it super easy for me, which I love. Vodka, I don't think I have enough of it here. Look at this monster, it's just the size of my face. Okay, where is my jigger? Here it is. All right, so we're going one ounce. Oh my God, this is a workout, just holding this bottle. Don't look at me shake. Okay, goodness. One ounce. And then I'm gonna go one ounce of my Midori or any other melon liqueur that you prefer. Woo, fill that clear quick. There we go, perfect. All right, next I'm gonna go with my triple sec or any other kind of uh, orange liqueur that you have. Right, nailed it. And then lastly, we're gonna go with our sour apple pucker. So you gotta go green, no. You gotta go not green, green, not green, green. Because everyone knows you gotta space out your greens, right? It's a bartending thing. Oh, glug. Brand spanking the bottle, so it's all good. All right. Let's go ahead, let's shake this bad boy up. Give her a shake. Woo! Might be the best I've ever popped that cup off. All right, so next we're gonna get our cup here. I'm gonna get my bulb glass. Nice and pretty. I don't know if that's the technical term, but I'm gonna call it. Fill it up with ice. Now, we're just gonna put our strainer over the top and we're gonna pour it. So I've been doing a couple of greenish cocktails the last couple times, but it's Halloween again. Like I said, you can kinda get the picture here. All right, lastly, you go with your lemon lime soda. I think the recipe, um, which I got from Delish, um, actually calls for Sierra Mist, but I'm going with 7-Up because that's what I have for lemon lime soda, and then also pineapple juice. So it didn't really give me ratios for this, so you can kind of just judge it how you will. I'm just gonna pour them both in at the same time. I don't know why I did the twisty thing, but you know. And then lastly, we're gonna drop in some lemon wedges. Drop in a couple of those, and I actually, I was gonna drop more in, but I was just gonna do those two. And I'm gonna put one here on, let's go the other way. There we go, put one on top. And then finally, let's get some Marchino cherries. I'm gonna put a good bunch of them. Um, on Instagram, I got called out for my Marchino cherry game. Did not think that would ever be a thing. Quite hilarious. Um, I think it was Luxerdo, something like that. Um, said they would up my uh, Marchino cherry game tenfold, which I didn't realize was a big Marchino market, so. Thank you, I appreciate it. I will look into those and I will make sure I incorporate some of those in my future cocktails. Thank you so much. There you have the good and evil cocktail. I am pumped. Yep, that tastes just like a classic Halloween punch almost. This is something, um, I'm not big into making the whole bulk, like giant bulk, uh, alcohols or punches. I just think like you just lose a lot of flavor, but this definitely tastes like one. Um, kind of got almost the sherbet 
um, or sh sherbet flavor to it. Oh, that's pretty good though. I do like it. It's fun. So I have one more Halloween cocktail coming your guys' way. It's gonna be on Friday. I'm really excited for the day before Halloween, so I gotta go all out for it. I'm really excited for it. I hope you guys don't judge me after that video. Um, please feel free to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, um, enjoy the channel. Let me know what you guys think. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.